Hey, what's up guys? So I just finished editing a video with John Austin and he has one of the most amazing talents I've ever seen. Um, he can talk and sing backwards. It's super impressive. I have no idea how he can do this, but he can. Um, I met him down in Atlanta at Roosevelt Warm Springs. It was probably one of the most rewarding trips I've ever been on and I hope you like it. So please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button and sit back, relax and enjoy. Hey, I'm the backwards dude, and I can talk in reverse. So I talk backwards, and what this app does is that it records it, and then it immediately flips it around in reverse. One thing that people like to challenge me to say is, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood backwards? And that is, do gush do gush do fit, gush gush do 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 stum wah. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? <laughs> Okay, this might be easy for you. I talk backwards. Give me something to say. <laughs> okay. Give me some I talk backwards. Give me something to say. Yes, sus. Yes, must seem big. Stroke at cloth. Yeah. I talk backwards. Give me something to say. <laughs> That's good. Okay, let's spice it up with some Missy Elliott now. This serve your nip nipple swat, yeah, thumbs up. This throw it, no, this throw is it. Is it worth it? Let me work it. Let my paint now flip it and reverse it. <laughs> that was pretty good. Today, we're just outside of Atlanta, Georgia. I've been asked to come to Roosevelt Warm Springs to speak to the gifted kids that are here that are on the spectrum. This afternoon, we are having a special guest here at our student assembly. It is my pleasure to introduce you to Mr. John Austin. Here's Merle Lazor. Roosevelt Warm Springs. <laughs> Roosevelt Warm Springs is a place where people who are on the spectrum and have disabilities can go and live and they can learn certain social skills and vocational skills that give them the confidence that they need to go out in the workforce and get jobs. It was really important for me to come down here to share with these kids my talent because I too am on the spectrum and talking backwards is a direct result of being on the spectrum. It's going to be interesting to see where this journey takes me for sure. But um, I don't know, does anybody have any questions? Yeah. Can I? Yeah. Is I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it in selfie mode here and I'm going to say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious backwards. So show us the lights get Get Silas Dar for Lack Repus. Okay. Super Power Gradualistic Exhalatocious. <laughs> After I finished talking, everybody wanted me to say their names backwards. And each time I did it, their reaction was just priceless. They, they just, it meant so much to them, and it was so much fun. And that's one reason I really love doing this. People are never expecting it, and it's new for every person. I was wondering if you could sing for any backwards. What is your full name? Austin Alexander Francis. Austin Alexander Francis. Cisner or Naskelat and it's salt. There we go. Austin Alexander Francis. Lucky drink, lucky drink, I ran blue. Soul, Nariat, Nerdy, go. Lucky drink, Tyran, Lewis. Shut up! I tell you what, you know, some of these kids had some crazy names like Frederick Deutsch Finnecke, and they thought that was going to stump me, but no way. I've just been doing it too long. <laughs> Can you spell my actual name, please? 
Say it. Say it. Deutsch Frederick Finnegy. That's boring. Deutsch Frederick Finnegy. Geek in it. Here it is. Stjol. Deutsch Frederick Finnegy. Yeah! <laughs> Say what? Go, go Yellow Jackets. Sure thing. <laughs> go. Okay, go, here, here we go. Go Yellow Jackets. Stick as the way was. Go, Yellow Jackets. We are on YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. Okay. Hi to YouTube, okay. After I finished talking to the kids today, uh, some of them came up and they were immediately able to relate to me. So it's good for somebody like me to be able to relate to somebody like them and vice versa. My name is Austin Francis. Nitsaw Nash Zemianyam. And we have Asperger Syndrome. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Lee Bryan was nice enough to show us the facilities where the kids get to learn day-to-day -day skills and vocational skills and to see exactly how all of that works. It was absolutely amazing. It is my latest show off. Lee took us into a uh, mock-up CVS store that they have there and it's there so the kids can go in there and learn how to work in retail even though some of them might not be comfortable being in public. They have the chance to build those skills there and get the confidence that they need before they actually go out and work in an actual CVS store. One of the things the executive from CVS told me, a young man who on the spectrum who was very successful mm -hmm. in Virginia said that it helped him so much because he said that one of the things that the CVS store wants you to do is say welcome to CVS when you come in. Mm -hmm. And he said my mother always told me not to speak to strangers and he said talking to strangers is really hard for me. And he said practicing in the store really helped me. That's great. This is cool because I understand what it's like being on the spectrum. A lot of times you are afraid to engage with other people, especially in retail, you know, to deal with certain situations. And this makes it to where these kids have an equal opportunity to go out and get a job like anyone else. I was. Oh, this is John Austin, Billy Garrett, um, hey, Billy. robotics and Hey, nice to meet you. Great job. Yeah, thank awesome you, Awesome town. Yes. <laughs> One of the things that was super impressive about being on campus was that we got to learn about how some of the students were super good at doing CAD because they were on the spectrum. We teach programming of robotics and we also teach programming of a CNC machine. Mm -hmm. okay? So the robotics we have here are industrial style. Uh, you know, robotics have a whole wide range of applications. So, uh, but what Roosevelt has focused on is, is manufacturing sector for robotics. Uh, and programming is a language. Mm -hmm. okay. well, you can't just tell a robot, hey, go over here and pick something up and move mm -hmm. from place to place. we got to speak the robot's language. Spectrum makes it to where you can do certain things that other people can't who are not on the spectrum. It fixes it to where we have this hyper-focus, if you will. So when it comes to technical things like CAD or talking backwards, like for in my instance, you know, sound and the nuances of sound I'm brilliant with, we're really good at it. And it's, it's really cool to see other aspects of it because I can't do math, but these guys can do it pretty good. I don't know if you had a chance to meet Cole. He was in the student assembly yesterday. Guy in the, the wheelchair would rise up and all oh, that. Oh, I think, I think he was at the front right, by the podium. He right, yeah, he was okay, right so okay. He was one of my first students and uh, he made a couple of projects in class and I got him to make this for me to use in future classes. Mm -hmm. uh, and we make that out of, you know, a blank piece of material. The overall school is so impressive. It has so many areas of specialty 
ranging from things that are incredibly technical to retail, and it's preparing the kids to go out to where they can live normal lives and have jobs. That's important to me because I wish, you know, I had had something like that coming along. It's very important that we give people who are on the autism spectrum or just Asperger spectrum a chance to uh, learn those social skills because when you're different like that it makes it hard to relate to people especially being young you um, you kind of get teased a lot because kids can't understand where you're coming from and then that really hurts your confidence it's awesome awesome to see Roosevelt Warm Springs doing so well with this and making a difference